hope you are well and having a good start to your day. I must say, I'm having a pretty great start to my day. The weather has just been so dreamy this week. I'm so thankful and just trying to soak it up because it is just blissful, honestly. And I've started taking Palmer on kind of morning sunrise walk. So it's like the first thing we do in the morning and it's just a fabulous way to start the day. So very thankful about that. And today we just have a few errands to run and just doing projects around the house. Brandon's actually just getting started on mowing the lawn for the first time since we've lived here so that is exciting i know he's been looking forward to that so we actually ended up getting one of those push mowers instead of an electric one or a gas one um so it'll be interesting we'll see how it goes but I also wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I'll share more about them later, but if you haven't heard of Squarespace, they're an incredible all-in-one platform to help you build a beautiful online presence. So again, I'll share more later, I love them. And I also wanna create a spring bucket list today. I always love to create these um, seasonal bucket lists so that we can kind of just be intentional about the season and kind of put our minds together to brainstorm fun ways to celebrate and just enjoy this time of year. So I'm thinking farmer's market, gardening, baking, all that good stuff. So we'll do that later on and I just have a few more errands to run. So let's get on our way. This is my outfit today. I absolutely love it. The straw hat is just so big and fun and just screams spring and summer to me. And then I also have this pretty dress from Lulu's that I've had for about a year now. So I'm not sure if it's still available, but I actually want to do some online spring shopping later. So maybe we can kind of do that together and pick out some pretty new spring pieces um, like this because this kind of everyday dress I seriously have worn so many times and it's just so effortless but you know it's easy to throw on and put feel put together and just enjoy your day in and then also this cozy cardigan I probably won't need to keep it on for most of the day but I'm kind of a little chillier this morning so I'll keep it on for now and then these cute slide on mules from Express have fun mowing baby have fun mowing. Waking up in my bed, just still stuck in my head. I'm not even hungover. I wanna call your phone, tell you what you did wrong, then ask it to come over. I just arrived at the heavy to pick up my plant of the month for my little monthly plant subscription and my mom is actually meeting me here we've been doing this together like every month and it's just so fun it's like our little tradition now so we're gonna just stroll around look at all they have to offer and we'll see what the plant of the month is very exciting I got a little oat milk vanilla latte. Here's mom and I's beautiful meal. Pink for the win. Always, forever and always. <laughs> I just got home and wanted to show my plant of the month. It's a Cupid Peperomia and I love it. I love the color of the leaves. I think it's super beautiful. So I got to find a place to put it and we did go to Trader Joe's after we got our nails done. So I'm going to do a quick little Trader Joe's haul. Here I am. <laughs> the sun was behind me so you couldn't see me but I found some goodies. So here's a little overview. I picked up some beautiful fresh flowers. I absolutely love the way these look and I love to pair my flowers with some baby's breath because they're just such a beautiful filler and once baby's breath dries out it's still super beautiful so this is just a great one to pick up 
And then I also got some of their fresh squeezed orange juice, which is just always delicious. And then I wanted to try this organic sparkling lemon and strawberry apple cider vinegar beverage. That is a mouthful, but it looked really refreshing and delicious and apple cider has some good benefits. So that'll be nice to enjoy later. Maybe we'll sip on that in the backyard and read our book. That sounds so lovely. And we have this unsweetened organic acerola. I think that's how you say it. I kind of forget, but I actually bought this about a month ago and it's been great to just put in smoothies and little smoothie bowls. Same with our acai. It's just, they have my favorite at Trader Joe's because it's unsweetened and just really delicious. And then I also got two blocks of our favorite unexpected cheddar cheese. It is just the best. And then I also got these cheese and green chili tamales, which I haven't, I've never gotten these actually. I used to get their veggie tamales that are just in the refrigerated section, but I've never tried these, but I think we might make these for dinner. So I will report back if we like them. And then some hummus dip, my favorite lentil soup with ancient greens. It's so delicious. I seriously ate this pretty much every other day in college. And then I also got a dragon fruit. How exciting is that? I have never gotten a dragon fruit before, so I'm gonna need to look up how to know when you know it's ripe and ready to eat. I also got some dried pistachio nut meats. Oh, that's kind of a funny <laughs> word, nut meats. I've never really called it that before, but these are just great little snack. And then also some jerk style plantain chips and some organic popcorn, which by the way, we make our popcorn on the stove top and I saw that just regular popcorn without any butter or salt is a good snack you can actually feed your dog as a little treat. So Palmer tried it the other day and he really liked it. The flowers look so beyond beautiful. I kept them kind of long. It's kind of a little disproportional, but I just like to trim them every few days. So that's why it's so long, but I hope they last a while because I just absolutely love them. They're already making me smile so much. And now I'm just getting started on a little lunch. I'll probably make a side salad or we'll just have some carrots and celery, but I have this croissant. Oh, I put it on the, I was like, where is my croissant? But I'm just warming it up right now, but it's from Buttermilk Bakery. So, so delicious. And I'm just gonna make us a little croissant sandwich that we'll share and then we'll just have like some other stuff along with it. Um, but I'm just gonna have tomatoes, mustard, avocado, favorite cheese and some arugula. So I think they'll be really tasty. And Brandon's still working on the lawn and he's mowing. He actually unboxed his new mower, the non-electric one I was talking about, the push mower, and it actually arrived broken. So that was a bummer. So he like repackaged it all up and then ended up just borrowing a gas mower, I guess. Um, so that's what he's using right now, but hopefully we'll get our new mower in, just the replacement one, and he can try that out because I'm just so curious about how that works. what time it is it is iced coffee time except I am not really in the mood for iced coffee because I had that iced latte earlier this morning so I'm going to just make I'm just gonna have that little sparkling apple cider beverage I showed you guys from Trader Joe's and then I'm gonna make Brandon some iced coffee he definitely needs a big old glass of iced coffee after mowing the lawn in this sunshiny day Started on creating our spring bucket list. I'm really excited. My mom and I were kind of brainstorming some ideas when we were getting our nails done and there's a lot of good ones. So I'm excited to kind of think of some more and share them with you all. But before I do, I want to thank Squarespace again for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You guys know I love my Squarespace website and I love to share a lot of just life stuff on there. And I've actually had my Squarespace website ever since college. That's when I first created it and I have loved it ever since. 
I really feel like it's been a big part of just growing my business and my brand. And they really just equip you with their user-friendly platform so that you can create a space that's beautiful and just helps you visually share your life and your thoughts and your words and just all of the above. So it's really awesome. And I love how you can display posts from your social profiles on your website. So everything is kind of all connected and you can automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels, which is also super convenient. And they just have a lot of amazing features like insights and you can even sell things on your Squarespace site. So the options really are endless. And if you would like to check out Squarespace for yourself and get started on creating your own website, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Allison Bickerstaff to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or a domain. So I really think you guys will love Squarespace as much as I do. And once I, once we make this bucket list together, I will make a digital version and put it up on my website so that you guys can easily find it and screenshot it and start crossing things off. So I'm gonna write it down on this paper, but let me just show you what I have so far, some of the things we've thought of. Um, let's see, okay, so we have Farmer's Market, of course. Read at a park. I think that's really lovely. Maybe just like go to the library, pick out a little spring book, and then take it to a park to read. Go on a picnic. Buy a new sundress. I still want to do a little online shopping with you guys later. Um, celebrate Earth Day. Um, outside, of course. Earth Day is coming up, so that's exciting. And Easter, of course, too. So I'm going to take a minute, put on some nice music, and get started on this little bucket list, and I'll share the full list with you when I'm finished. You would find a new distraction. I need you more, need you here, more than I would like to admit. Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah. You never break. Okay, here is the spring bucket list. All the ideas is actually super long. I wasn't sure if we would have this much because in autumn and winter, I feel like it's kind of easier to think of festive things to do, but here we are. I'm excited to share. So first up, again, we have farmer's market, naturally, and then read out a park, plant something new. I personally want to plant a little herb garden or herb planter because I feel like that's super practical because I use a lot of herbs in cooking. So that would just be wonderful to be able to produce my own herbs. So I want to try to do that soon and then treat yourself to some flowers. I can cross that one off because I got those flowers at Trader Joe's today. And then the next one, visit a butterfly garden. So I don't know if you guys have these in your local area, but we actually have one just right down the road where they just have a bunch of different flowers and stuff. Um, and it's just like a public kind of butterfly garden, which is super sweet. So maybe you could do a little Google search and see what kind of butterfly gardens are near you. And sometimes they have them at museums and stuff. So you can check that out or you could even um, make your own, which would be amazing. That would definitely be a dream one day. And then next up we have do a spring cleaning, of course, get some organization done, go on a picnic, take a nature walk, dye some Easter eggs. I actually love painting Easter eggs as well. So maybe I'll do a little bit of both. Pick seasonal fruits at a local farm. We have local blueberry farms where you can pick fresh blueberries and we also have strawberries as well. So I definitely want to do that soon. And then decorate your home for spring. I plan to do that next week. So really looking forward to that. And then buy a new sundress. We'll try to do that later. Dance in the rain. Lots of different locations have a bunch of kind of spring showers. So it's kind of fun to take advantage of the rain and have a little dancing moment. And then create a spring playlist. Celebrate Earth Day outside. A couple years ago for Earth Day, Brandon and I, after work, we went on a bike ride on a local trail and we biked to get veggie burgers on Earth Day and it was the best, so I'd love to do that again. And then fly a kite. I haven't flown a kite in so long, but I remember the last time I did, it brought a lot of joy, so I definitely wanna fly a kite again soon. And then the last two, make homemade lavender lemonade. How good does that sound? And then finally, bake a spring pastry. I'm thinking maybe like some kind of floral cookie or 
carrot cake, something like that. So there it is, there's a spring bucket list. I'm ready to read outside for a bit, but first I wanna do a little research about my new plant to see what kind of sunlight it needs and water and all that good stuff. Cause of course I want it to survive and live a long happy life. Oh gosh, I almost just spilt it, <laughs> we're good. Okay, and a few weeks ago in one of my vlogs, I planted these flowers in this sweet little basket on our door. But unfortunately, our butter daffodils are not doing so hot. They are just very very sad. I don't know what went wrong. Um, we did have some really cold days like right after I planted them so I'm not sure if that was the problem or if it just got too much sun. I really don't know. I've never had those flowers before so <sighs> kind of sad but I actually need to replant that pink flower anyways because I need to add some kind of lining to the bottom of the basket because every time we open and close the door, which is a lot, a bunch of soil kind of leaks out and it's just kind of being very messy and just, you know, it'd be better if that didn't happen. So I'm going to, I think I'm gonna put some maybe parchment paper or aluminum foil. I don't know, or plastic wrap. I really don't know what exactly, but just kind of like to line it so that doesn't happen. It might still happen like a tiny bit, but not as much. And I was thinking, depending on what the Cupid Peperomia needs, like what kind of light and stuff, I have a feeling it's not gonna want direct sunlight, but I don't know, we'll see. But if I think it could be suitable for this basket, I might try to plant it with that flower. But again, I have a feeling it's not gonna love the direct sunlight, but we'll see, you never know. Okay, so for the Cupid Peperomia, it says it grows well in areas with medium to high light levels, but it says to avoid direct sun, which could cause leaf burn. And that part, like where that basket is, it does get direct sun. So I'm thinking just to be safe, I am not going to put it in the basket. I'm going to keep it inside and it'll get plenty of light in here. I'll probably try to keep it somewhere like in this dining area. I don't know. We'll see. But it's so cute. I just realized why it's called a Cupid Peperomia because the leaves are kind of this little heart shaped. So, and it's like a little tip at the end. So it's kind of resembling Cupid. It's Cupid energy. Super, super cute. I wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more. I need you here. More than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Okay, so I just used yeah. some Press and Seal plastic liner and I think it'll do the trick. It seems pretty kind of sturdy in there and I think I covered all my bases. So, high hopes. We're just two little homeowners working the day away. <laughs> Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah. Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again? Hold you tight, call you mine. Think about you every time. Okay, I've got my book, I've got my drink, I'm ready to just lounge out, enjoy the beautiful day, and I'm really just excited to start this book. And Little Palmer is hanging out with me out here for a bit. We keep his leash on in the backyard because he, um, we don't have a fence or anything, so if he starts to run, we can catch him easier. Hey Palmer, come here! But I made one of his favorite snacks, which is frozen pineapple. Um, I just stick it in this Kong and it definitely like is refreshing for him, especially when we're outside. So another great little healthy snack for your pup. Here, baby, you want it? Palmer, look, sit. Palmer, sit. Good boy, good boy. There you go, enjoy. Enjoy your treat. It's almost like I can't stop. So my thoughts on this sparkling apple cider vinegar beverage. It is definitely yummy, but it's a little too sweet for me. And it definitely has a good amount of um, sugar. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside and get some crushed ice and just pour this over crushed ice so it can kind of water down a bit. I think that'll be perfect. Also, Palmer's just being a little angel, and we haven't had trouble with him kind of running away at all, but we just like to keep the leash on just in case he like saw another human or a dog like walking by and wanted to go say hi, because he is definitely very friendly and wants to make all the new friends. So we just leave the leash on as a precaution, but he's being such a good boy. Thank you. 
I walk in from reading and see that Brandon's working on putting up my floating shelves and I'm so excited. I've been so excited about putting these up and it's finally happening. So I'll help him as needed, but oh my goodness, it's gonna be so nice to finally have these up. shelf up it looks so good I'm so excited to start like putting stuff on the shelf but while Brandon puts the next one up I am gonna get started on dinner and I definitely want to make those tamales that I picked up at Trader Joe's earlier today and I think I want to get say hi Palmer <laughs> I think I want to get um, some black beans out too and I will just kind of rinse those out and we can serve those along because this is just cheese and green chili so we can have some beans for protein probably a little side salad as well and I also got some plantain chips so maybe some plantain chips on the side I don't know we'll see but I'm excited for these and colorful dinner. I tried a bite of the tamale and it is fabulous. So excited for this meal. Dinner was delish and now Brandon's just touching up like some spots around where the brackets are for the floating shelves like with some paint and some caulk which is some spots that kind of got nicked as we were um, drilling in the brackets. So that's what he's doing, but I'll probably just show you guys the finished product tomorrow because we're not going to put it back up tonight, right? Probably not. I'm getting tired. I'm ready for bed, so I just am going to probably go read in bed for a little bit, but I'll update you guys in the morning. my beautiful floating shelves I absolutely love how they turned out I'm still working on styling them and everything but they're so beautiful and I love the speaker up here but this is actually a plug-in speaker so you have to um, plug it into an outlet and the the cord is actually black I have it right here um, and I just think that'll be like a little bit of an eyesore to have the cord just hanging down this wall. So I probably won't keep the speaker here unless I think of some kind of hack and maybe like spray paint the cord white and then, I don't know. It doesn't seem like the most functional, but I think it looks so pretty on here and it would be great to just have it on here instead of the windowsill. But not sure if that'll work out, but it's looking so cute. I have some plates and bowls and glasses already, and I have my um, coffee grounds, and I'm gonna keep my French press up there as well. It's just drying because I used it to make coffee this morning, so I'll just put it up there to show you guys, so. And it'll be a great little home for my French press, but who knows, I might change it around. Nothing is set in stone, but super, super cute. 
Also, I did end up finding a couple cute spring clothing pieces that I ordered last night. I'll show you guys what I picked out. I got one really pretty shirt from Urban Outfitters and it is a, it has oranges on it, which I just think is super cute and perfect for spring. Let me find it. I'll just insert a picture right here. And then I also ordered this kind of two piece set from Lulu's and it's just florally and kind of like this pretty green color. But yeah, I'm excited for those pieces. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of them this season. So yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and spending time with me as always. I'm so thankful for you guys and so appreciative of you and your kindness. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.